right, we're going to talk about how to classify triangles by its angles, if you notice sides. Um, so back in Unit 4, we, we talked about triangles being um, classified by their largest angle. Acute it would be less than 90, right is 90, and obtuse is more than 90. So um, to do this, we have to remember that the longest side of a right triangle is the hypotenuse. Which, in your Pythagorean theorem, we're going to call that C. So, here's an example of what we're going to do. We're going to look for the longest side. That's the most important step right now, because we want to identify which one is going to be put into C. If it helps, you can list all those in increasing order, okay, to make sure that you're putting the first two in A and B. How does that compare? To the longest one, the square of the longest. Alright, go ahead and put that on your calculator. 12 squared plus 16 squared. 20 squared, put that in your calculator. Alright, so in this case, they're actually equal. So that's your Pythagorean theorem, right? Alright, so this is going to be a right triangle. Most people don't have trouble remembering that that's going to be a right triangle. It's when they're not equal. I'm going to kind of show you a trick for that. So, um, find our longest side. So let's look at the next example. Our longest side is 17. Again, if it helps, put them in increasing order, small to big. Square the two shorter ones, find their sum. How does that compare to the square of the longest side? Okay, you can put it all in your calculator at once. 8 squared plus 10 squared, 164, 17 squared, 289. All right, so what I want you to visualize right now is what happened to C? That's going to be your question. If it was equal, that was a right triangle. So in this case, C, that one was bigger. So visualize what happened to that. We'll extend C out what happens to what used to be a 90 degree angle. To make C longer, we had to open up that angle. So that's when we have an obtuse triangle. Okay, let's try another one. <clears throat> okay, most important step. If you don't get the longest side into C, this isn't gonna work. So again, to be safe, if you want to put them in increasing order, take a second look at it. 9, 13, 15, yep, I like that. Okay, so make sure the two shorter ones are together. And then we're comparing it to the square of the longest. How does that compare? Okay, so put this on your calculator at once. And 15 squared is going to be 225. So again, visualize they're not equal, so I have to make a decision. Is this obtuse or acute? Well, what happened to C, the longer one? 225 is actually smaller, okay? So this became larger. So again, visualize what happened to C. If it was a right triangle, okay, it would look like that. So it got shorter. So what happened then to that angle that was opposite it? was 90. Now it got smaller to make that side smaller. So this is acute. If you think you're getting the hang of this, you can pause, try a couple examples, and then hit play to see how you're doing. Okay, but if you need more examples, keep watching. Okay, so I actually am giving you two problems here. We're going to look at one where, you know, what if they gave me a picture? Or, you know, what if they gave me the lengths of three sides? This is triangle D-O-G, right? D-O and G. So they gave us three lengths of that triangle. Okay. Um, you approach it the same way either way. Where's the longest side? Put that into C. 5 squared plus 7 squared. How does that compare to the longest one squared? So 5 squared plus 7 squared. 74. And 9 squared is 81. So what happened to C? It got bigger. That right angle had to extend, had to get bigger as we extended that third side. So this is obtuse. 
Okay, I wanted to give you an example where there were radicals. You don't really need a picture for this. It might actually be more confusing to try and draw a picture. Just understand you're given three side lengths here. We need to know which one's the biggest. If you're like me, I'm uncomfortable just looking at that and deciding what that is. So go ahead and ask our calculator. <clears throat> so we're going to do 6 square root of 2. <clears throat> So we're going to get about 8.5. And 2 square root of 5, we're going to get about 4.5. Okay. Well, now I can look at these numbers. Now they make sense to me. This one is going to be the biggest. Now, when I go to do this one in the calculator, you need to be really careful because this whole thing needs to be squared. We need parentheses around that. We need parentheses around that. Um, the order of operations, the calculator follows order of operations. So if you do, let me just show you. <coughs> Excuse me. If you put this in your calculator, you're not going to get the right answer because the calculator is going to square that square root of 2 before it multiplies those. So this is really important. To enter this correctly, you need parentheses. You're going to put in your 6 square root of 2. You're going to get out of the square root, and you're going to close that parentheses. So now we're going to square that whole thing. Okay? So let's see how we want to set this up. These were my two shorter ones, so it's going to be 6 square root of 2 squared plus 2 square root of 5 squared. How does that compare to 9 squared? So again, put this in your calculator. You can do it all at once. Make sure you use parentheses. Okay, so I can do that left side all at once. I got 92. And 8 squared is 81. Okay, so now I'm ready to look at this and make my decision. What happened to my C? This time, it's now smaller. So for that hypotenuse in a right triangle to get smaller is going to make that opposite angle, the 90 degree angle, smaller. And this is going to be an acute triangle. Okay, if you feel more comfortable and you want to pause, try some examples. Um, here's the last two examples on this handout. Okay, so I'm going to classify these. I'm going to go ahead and Make my longest one C. I'm going to put all this in my calculator since it's on one side. I'm going to get 169. 13 squared is 169. Oops, how did I know that was going to be equal? <laughs> It's actually a Pythagorean triple, so I, I did know it was going to be equal. So um, they, they turned out to be equal, so I'm going to go ahead and that's my easy one. I know that's going to be a right triangle. All right. Um, again, in the second example here, I don't know what 3 squared of 7 is. Is it the longest side? Is it the shortest side? I don't know. Let's ask the calculator. 3 square root of 7. Okay, so it turns out to be the shortest side, about 7.9. So my longest side, 14. I'm going to go ahead and do the two shorter ones. Don't forget our parentheses. Super important around that um, radical there. 10 is my next one. And then how does that compare to 14 squared? OK, let's put it all in our calculator. 3 square root of 7. Close that parentheses. Okay, so that's what it should look like when we enter it. Okay, I should get 163. Make sure you know how to do this in your calculator. And then 14 squared is 196. Okay, so stop and think about that. Let's see what happened to C. C got bigger. To extend that side, we make that right angle bigger, so this ends up being obtuse. All right, great. Go try some practice.